Hey guys, welcome back to this Bender video. Today I'm showing you how to set up Voice Meter 2021. I'm going to jump right in with your microphone input, which is basically just going to be the microphone you want. Um, I'm using a Blue Yeti, a Blue Yeti microphone. So be sure that you select the microphone that you're using in your case. Um, and also be sure, be sure that it's a WDM. I have the Blue Yeti, as you can see here. And also be sure that it's the WDM version that is selected here. Then as an output, it's also really important, it's going to be your speakers. So where you hear the sound from. Um, this is in this case going to be a uh, MME. So the MME case for the output. And um, this, if you do the speakers this, you're going to go through my uh, Blue Yeti. So I'm going to have to plug my uh, headset in my Blue Yeti. And if I do this one, I just simply going to hear it in my, uh, in my speakers and through my headset. Uh, but that is only one if I want to hear myself talk. Now, I don't want to hear myself talk. So I just make sure that it's the cable input that it's selected here. So this one, the cable input to VB Audio Virtual, which is something you have to download. So I actually made a tutorial on how to download voice meter and also the, the virtual cable one. So you need both of them together. Next to that, I'm really going to go into the detail now on how to make it actually sound better. Uh, the main part will actually be in this uh, place here. Um, this is uh, where you actually want to... Change your voice as you can hear right now it's here in the lows, I can put it in the highs, this will change. Above here you will have some echo and some other sounds, but I preferably have to it in low, which is going to sound better. Now your microphone actually might be different, if you have to put it like over here it sounds better, or over here it sounds better, it might be even over here. That just depends on your microphone, so you have to test it for yourself and just play around with this thing and put it every hair, well not with the echo probably, but just right here underneath in the lows and in the highs and see what's the best for your microphone. So that's probably going to be a more specific case. Which is also really important is this part here, is the gain. So this is basically how loud your voice is going to be in the microphone. If I put it up here, it's going to be pretty loud. Down here, it's going to be pretty quiet. So make sure that you find like a spot between minus 4 and minus 9. Uh, pretty soft, pretty low, but I like it right here. But you can go for like between minus 4 and minus 6, even between minus 9. Um, that's definitely uh, something to consider. Be sure that these two are selected here, the two M's, and also the two uh, stereo repeats here as well. And then finally you can see, just see your voice right here uh, as it is moving. I also got, by the way, a question a lot by people that um, how to use voice meter, for example, for Discord or for a game or whatever. Uh, that's actually pretty simple. You have to use, uh, you have to actually select voice meter as your microphone. So let's say you're doing Discord or playing a video game, as I said, make sure that as a microphone, you select voice meter because, and voice meter also needs to be on, it needs to be open. And of course your microphone needs to be plugged in, voice meter needs to be open like this right now. And then you can launch like a game. In that case, you still have to select as your microphone voice meter. That was all I have to say guys. Um, pretty quick tutorial here. Hopefully you enjoyed it. This is how to basically set up a voice meter. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Of course, please leave a like, it would be really nice. Subscribe would also be really nice. And I hope to see you guys in my next video.